whatever income you have done inside the office we call it as professional income if you are engineer you have to qualify your engineering degree so we'll go for lawyer now now you are not a chartered accountant shift your profession if you want to be a ca for longer term you have to renew your membership Hello everyone. This is your Adesh sir here, lecturing with the Ashram First Grade College, the Temple of Excellence. So we are in the session one of your topic called Business or Profession. Now we are in the session one and your unit four. Now, so what is business or profession? One of the major as well as important topic in your syllabus. We can call it as business or profession. So your passing marks will be what? Twenty four. Out of twenty four, for twenty four, you will get thirty marks from this topic. Out of eighty, you are supposed to take twenty four, but the thirty marks will be provided from this particular topic. Remember, one of the most important topic in your syllabus. Now. We have business as well as profession. We have two topics in a single chapter. Now, what about business and what about profession? Like, if I am doing any business of garments or electronic items, if I am selling electronic items, that is called business. What is profession actually? Profession in the sense, doctor is a profession. See. If you want to sell any electronic item, you doesn't require any qualification. If you want to sell your electronic item, you are need not to be an engineer. You need not to be a commerce graduate. But if you want to become a doctor, you have to be MBBS. You have to complete your MBBS or anything required for that particular. Qualification. If you want to be, if you want to work as a chartered accountant, you have to complete chartered accountant course. If you want to become a lawyer, you have to complete LLB. These are the things professions. Profession in the sense you must have specific qualification to do that particular business. Hope you are clear. Yes. This is all about your profession. There is a difference between your business as well as Profession. Now, we'll go for your theory aspects. Your agenda is very simple. We will understand the concept. Along with concept, we will understand the format also. How to solve problem? That format we will understand today. First topic we call it as business. Under business, we have it referred. to any economic activity carried for earning profit again i'll repeat business means what it referred to any economic activity carried for earning profit economic activity referred to any trade commerce manufacturing activity trading activity as well as other kind of nature of all so these are called as business as i told you your electronic business textile or any provisions shop you have all comes under business only your profession profession in the sense it refer that a person provide services against their skill and knowledge as i told you if he has particular skill or if he is a qualified one if you are engineer you have to qualify your engineering degree so these are called as your profession like that ca doctor engineer etc in profession a person can earn their livelihood through their intellectual or manual skills like you call it as carpenter for to become a carpenter you must be skilled in this you are the electrician electrician means what you have to done that particular diploma or you must be expert in that particular work all this we call it as profession for your skill and knowledge you will be paid there is nothing sold or bought but your skill is 
given as a service and you will get your revenue. Now, these are called as profession, but in your examination, you are supposed to learn only three professions. Again, I'll repeat, for your examination, you are supposed to learn any three professions, which are those like, one will be doctor, one will be lawyer, and another one we call it as CA, chartered accountant. In your examination, you don't have engineer, electrician, carpenter and all, but your examination purpose, you're supposed to remember the format of three professions. Which are those three professions? Like one will be doctor, one will be lawyer, and the last one we call it as chartered accountant. These are the professions you're supposed to remember. Now, I'll go with the format of Chartered Accountant. Now, so who is a Chartered Accountant? You know that the person who qualifies CA, we call it as Chartered Accountant. And also we call this course as one of the toughest course in India. After your IAS and case, the next row or next line, it is CA, Chartered Accountant. It is one of the toughest course as well as you have more value if you clear this Chartered Accountant course. Why? Why? Because you are called as a Commerce graduate. Even though you have done your BCom, you are a Commerce graduate. But who is called as expert? One who has done this Chartered Accountant course will be called as expert. Why? Because he must have knowledge of accounts. He must have knowledge of taxation, direct taxation, indirect taxation. He has the knowledge of cost accounting. He has the knowledge of law, company law as well as commercial law. He no have the knowledge of auditing. Along with that, he has three years practice of, he work under CA so that he has practical knowledge also. Not only the theoretical aspect, he know the knowledge of practical things. Along with that, he knows about computer. All the accounting software, he is well with that accounting software. That's why we can call this person as expert in accounting. And you know that accounting standards we have. It is given by whom? Chartered accountant. So your financial report without blindly the shareholders will believe. Why? Because it is signed by chartered accountant. We trust more chartered accountants. So the government also believes chartered accountant. Why? Because if chartered accountant made signature means we will not check in detail. Why? Because it is perfect. That's why it is also one of the major profession in your topic that is CA profession. Now, how to do this problem? Very simple. While doing the profession topic of chartered accountant, just assume that you are a CA. Just assume that you are a CA and assume that you have started a new business X and Y and Co. X and Y and Co. You are running a chartered accountant office. Now, what are the income you get in the office? Those are called as professional receipt. What are the expenditure you have done in the office? We call it as these are your professional expenses. Once again, I'll come back. Whatever income you have done inside the office, we call it as professional income. Whatever expenditures you made outside, that is called as professional expenses. Professional income as well as professional expenses. Hope you are clear. Yes, this is all about your chartered accountant income as well as expenditure. Now, remember, just assume that you are a chartered accountant, which are called as your income like. Any audit fees you receive, that is your income being a profession. Remember, while doing this, keep it in mind, even though you are not a chartered, chartered accountant, still if you get that income, we don't call it as professional income. Like you have invested in some shares, you are getting dividend of 5,000 every month. That 5,000 we never consider as your chartered accountant income because 
Not being a CA also, you can get that 5,000. Being CA, what you have earned, that is your life. I'm a faculty lecturer. If I do classes in the college, I get salary. That is my professional income. If I do tuitions, I'll get income. That is my professional income. If I sell books, I'll get income. That is not my professional income because selling book is not my profession. Teaching is my profession. Whatever income I'll earn with the help of teaching, I'll call it as your professional income. Now, audit fees is your professional income. Income from audit work, professional income. Institute fees like from the institute if you deliver any classes you will get income for CA students that is called your professional income consultancy service professional income gift so you have you are serving some client since 10 years so with love and affection he has given you gift that is your professional gift on your birthday, he has given gift. That is not your professional gift. Why? Because why did he give gift? Because you are serving since 10 years. That is why it is gift from client as a professional income. You are not serving, even though you are serving, but you have received gift on occasion of birthday. Birthday is not called as your professional gift, a professional income. Hope you are clear. Yes. Now, Examiner's fees, your professional income, any other professional receipt, all comes under professional receipt. Clear? Yes. Now, being a CA, you have running a office. What are your expenses actually? Like your rent, light, water, salary to staff, telephone, all comes under your office expenses. If you want to be a CA for longer term, you have to renew your membership. For that, you are supposed to pay membership fees. So you have to visit your clients and you have printer at your office. You have photocopy machine at your office. You are paying your charging depreciation on that. Those things you are supposed to consider your professional expenditure. You have to travel from one place to another place from your office to client. That's why whatever the car you have, any repair charges, fuel charges, your depreciation on motor car all comes under your professional expenditure. Stipend to trainees. What is stipend actually? Stipend in the sense you have trainees at your office. You have trainees at your office. Like there are many are there. If you join CA, you have to work three years under chartered accountant. That three years, we call it as trainee. In that period, whatever you'll get that is not considered salary, that is considered as stipend. So that is your professional expenditure. Subscription. You have to book for some journals like all income tax updates will come. That is called as journals. So that come under your subscription. At the end, cost of books for professional expenses. That is also your, if you buy story books, that will not come. If you buy income tax book, company law book, all comes under your professional expenditure. Hope you are clear. Yes. Income minus expenditure is your answer. This much only your professional chapter. Clear? Yes. Now, I'll go for the last one. So we have three. One is doctor, lawyer, chartered accountant. Today, in today's session, I'll explain you about lawyer, about chartered accountant. In the next session, we'll go for doctor. Now, We'll go for lawyer. Now, now you are not a chartered accountant. Shift your profession. Now you are not a CA. Now you are a lawyer. Being a lawyer, what are your receipts? What are your expenditure? Professional receipt, professional expenditure. Remember this. Now, professional receipt like practicing fees, legal fees, Special commission. What do you mean by special commission? Like, so there is a dispute of your client, like land dispute. What is the value of land? Some one crore. Now, so you have fighted in the court and finally your client won that particular land. What is the value of the land? 
वन क्रोर द क्लाइंट प्रोमिस दैट आई एल गिव यू टेन परसेंट ऑफ माई लैंड वैल्यू इफ वी विन सो लकीली दे वॉन्ट एंड वन क्रोर इंटू टेन परसेंट द टेन लैक विल बी कमीशन ऑफ दैट पर्टिकुलर लॉयर होप यू अंडरस्टूड दीज आर द कमीशन इनकम बिकॉज ऑफ हिज प्रोफेशन बिकॉज ऑफ हिज एफर्ट ही हैज वॉन द केस एंड ही अर्न दैट कमीशन पार्ट क्लियर यस सो gift from clients and examination fees any other professional receipt what is examination fees there are juniors are there they are writing some exam seniors will take care of that so maybe invigilators rs evaluators so all those income we call it as examination fees that is a part of your professional receipt hope you are clear yes your professional expenses are similar to your chartered accountant whatever expenses we consider for your ca the same expenses we will consider for this also now office expenses rent light water all this will come purchase of stamp paper yes depreciation yes motor car stipend subscription cost of books for profession all comes under your professional expenses now from total income you minus your expenditure you will get your answer hope you are clear yes this is all about the profession of lawyer clear has now i'll go back to previous slides if you want please take screenshot of this format you are supposed to learn this format then only your problem will be easy to do so this is business and profession your format of chartered accountant format of lawyer yes this is all about your today's session hope you understood what is chartered accountant what is doctor what is business and what is profession and what is lawyer profession now in the next session we'll go with doctor profession along with that we'll work out one problem also thank you